Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're in Saner, Wisconsin, and it's Ryan the Photographer's Day to Fish. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. Who do you got? Oh, my awesome. gosh. Yes, folks, we're up in Saner, Wisconsin, you know, northern Wisconsin. Yep. And, you know, we kind of had a day off, and we decided today that you and I are going to fish by ourselves and with Ryan the photographer. Yeah, it's so fun that Ryan gets to fish with us finally, and we're fishing a lake we've never fished before, so. Well, you know, my buddy Rob, you know, he gave me a few pointers. Yep. But we've got the Lake Master chip in there, and we just kind of looked for areas where there's humps with weeds on them. Yeah. And we'll just explore, and I'll tell you what, I am armed for everything today. <laughs> on this rod, I have a jerk minnow. Classic. On this rod, I have a wacko worm. Yep. And on this rod, I've got a bobber and a crappie scrub. And what do you have? I have the legendary Kalen's grub. Grub. And the Kalen's Google Eye Jake. And I gotta ask Ryan, the photographer, what are you going to use today, Ryan? Uh, what I always use, the the Kalen's five inch grub, and uh, today I'm gonna be using the Google Eye, a gold Google Eye jig. Now I gotta ask you this, you and I have, people don't realize you and I have fished together quite a bit over the years, yep. and that grub has been very successful for you. I, it's uh, literally like it's not even a joke, it's the only thing I throw. I'll very rarely maybe do a wacko worm if, you know, I'm not catching anything on this, but it's rare that I don't catch anything on this thing. I love, I love throwing the grub. Now you spend many, many hours in the boat as our photographer and producer. Is this kind of fun for you to get the fishing rod in your hand? Absolutely, I love it. I mean, it's uh, that's why people fish, right? It's for the excitement of when the bite happens. So I mean, I'm looking forward to hopefully, uh, you know, raking them in with this boy, and uh, we'll show you what we're using and how we're using it. All that coming up right after this. You know, folks, with my buddies using leeches and crawlers all day, I'm glad I've got the Johnson Pump washdown kit. All I can do then is spray down the boat and get all that stuff out of there. But the Johnson Pump washdown kit has another use. It's 92 degrees and humid today. Now watch. I'll take care of my buddy Tom in the back. Ah, there, there we go, Tommy! Holy hey, smokes, man. Oh, there we go, buddy! <laughs> what do you think of that, buddy? I love it. I need one. Yeah. Can he put them on pontoon boats? They're great for pontoon boats. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> Wait until my wife has sees that one. I'm going to get her, too. <laughs> yes, sir, Tommy. That is refreshing, buddy. I am going to get you a Johnson Pump washdown kit. Have you ever wondered what oil goes in your vehicle or your ATV? Well, at AMSOIL, we've got some industry-leading lookup guides that we spend a ton of time maintaining. So you could type in your snowmobile, you could type in your truck, you could type in your everyday commuter car, and it'll tell you what oil, what filter, and how much of each you need. You can also add your vehicle to the AMSOIL garage, and then it's saved. So next time you need an oil change, you just click a button. For more information, check out AMSOIL.com. tell you what, bass fishing in in July up north is fun. And here he is. Let's see what we got here. That's a pretty nice one to start the day right there. And uh, again, folks, what we're doing is trying different baits. We have no live bait with us. And this is a Kalen's Wacko Worm Blake, which you love to throw too. Yes. But uh, you're throwing a grub. That's a nice chunky bass to start out, isn't and was it? was that close in the weed? Yeah, right. Actually casting right along the edge of, of the lily pads right there. Awesome. My turn. Here we go, Blake. Nice. I got myself a crappie. Yeah. You know, we were fishing for bass and um, 
Ryan, the photographer, was throwing a five-inch Kalen's grub. <laughs> and of course. And of course, he caught a crappie. And then he took another cast and caught another crappie. So what the heck, I put a crappie scrub on. And uh, hey, this time of the year, you know, if you can find them on these weed edges, man, you can have some fun. Ooh, back in the <laughs> Let's see what you got. A walleye. Really? Yeah. A walleye. Weird. <laughs> Do they well, have walleye? Well, so far that's that, that's one bass, <laughs> two small crappies, and a small walleye. As Ryan would say, the Kalen's five-inch grub catches everything. Hey, Here we go. Ryan, the photographer. Here we go. I'm the grubber. Ruin this is there, a jumbo. Buddy. We need. We may need the clam. <laughs> oh wow! What do you got? I don't know. What is it? Get him in. Get that him is in. That's a Look huge walleye. I'm turning around. <laughs> Ryan, look at the size of that Holy walleye. cow. And oh you know, my gosh, Ryan. Look at that. <laughs> that is a jumbo. And what was that on, Ryan? It's on the only thing I ever throw. Sorry, it's a grub and the... Uh, Google eye jig. The Google eye jig. Uh, now, I should have gotten down there, Ryan, and, and gotten the clam net. I mean, that's a... <laughs> that was pretty dumb to flip that in, in I retrospect. Mean, here we are, you know, in, in July, and uh, we're fishing... A, in weeds in about four feet of water. It's insane. At, at 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's it's yeah. all the worst things, basically. <laughs> okay, so today we've caught a bass, two uh, little crappies. I, I caught two big crappies on the five inch grub. But we could, couldn't we didn't film, film them. We're, yeah. We're just we figuring out how to film. But yeah. that's a big throw that walleye back. But, right. uh, we need a picture. Good, and I'll phone back. We'll get more. But I'll get more. You, you know, you don't get a chance to fish very much. And uh, it, when you do get a chance, you throw that grub and you catch fish. I always throw the grub. It's just a steady return. Retrieve. I'm not super skilled at fishing, so it's easy for me. So what are you talking about? try to keep it out of the weeds and. Hey, nicely done though, buddy. You know, and, and what we're doing, folks, is concentrating. We're trying to catch largemouth bass. You know, but... <laughs> have we caught one yet? <laughs> yeah, we caught one the caught... first oh, fish yeah, of the yeah, day. Yeah. But uh, hey, man, give you a... <laughs> take what the leg gives you. Give nice job. Pound, man. Nice. <laughs> what did you get? A crappie. <laughs> a crappie on the five-inch scrub. On the Kalen's grub, five inch grub. That is funny. It is. Ryan and I always joke around. I'm like, Ryan, if you're going crappie fishing, five inch grub. But maybe you can you can explain to the folks what we're doing. And, and basically, there's a rock bar right behind us, mm -hmm. but all around the rock bar are, are scattered weeds, right? Yeah. So we're uh, fishing right on top of those high weeds, and that's where. They seem to have crappies, walleyes, and we came out here trying to find largemouth bass, and then Ryan found crappies and walleyes. So I guess we'll see what we catch next. Yeah, so Blake caught that crappie on uh, the old Kaylin's grub, so I put on the Kaylin's scrub and Fish. casted where she got that. What do you got, Blake? Oh, bottom. Okay, you got bottom. But yeah, so that's why I pointed out on the top of the program, folks, that I got uh, a rod rigged up for largemouth bass, a rod rigged up for crappies, and a rod rigged up for walleyes. This is fun. This is a blast here. Let's see what we got coming in here. There's a little better, a little better crappie right there. Now that's actually a real nice crappie, folks, anywhere you go. And uh, it's interesting because uh, I'm catching these crappies and Blake in the back of the boat said, oh, I just got a bite and they bit off your tail. But look at the size of that crappie, folks. That's, that's really a beauty. Crappie. Isn't that a nice fish right yeah, there, Blake? Nice. Yeah. What happened, Blake? Well, this actually happened to me twice today where they bit off the tail of the grub and I think it might just be a big walleye or a northern pike, but hey, they're aggressive and I'm gonna keep trying. And one thing we should mention too, that you guys are just reeling steady? Yeah, once it hits the water, you start reeling because there are very high weeds and you don't wanna get stuck in those. So yeah, immediately once I cast it out, it hits the water, steady retrieve in. Every cast, you either miss one or catch one, folks. And, uh, you know, this is kind of neat when you're doing, you know, usually crappies are kind of hard to find this time of year. You know, they're usually deep. But on this particular lake, I think the deepest water on this lake is only 20 feet. So these fish are using the green weeds. And look at that, that how they eat that, that crappie scrub. I'll tell you what, that has been just a killer bait. <laughs> I missed at least four. They might have been teensers, but then I made sure to get this one. And that is another nice crappie. And I got one in the front. Oh, nicely done. 
there's definitely a school in that same spot. And that's what's so fun about crappie fishing. You catch one and you just cast there the whole time and you keep catching them. And here you go. Hold, nice. hold mine up there with you. There you go. Thank you, Ryan. Brother and sister probably. No, it is amazing. Yeah. You know, we put it on spot lock and you know, that's about 20 bites. You just got bit <laughs> off. I know, my bobber's right there. Hopefully a fish is not tortured on the on my hook, but I'm uh, retying right now. And what's interesting, all you need is that little little size jig and a crappie scrub. You know, folks, we talk about the crappie scrub all the time, but that's a little 32nd ounce jig that we use with the crappie scrub. And there's a little keep on there that keeps uh, keeps your plastic up towards the hook. So they're very easy to put on. Just string them on as such and push them up like that. And that's what really attracts those fish is those little wiggly legs. But uh, no, it's a killer bait for crappies. And uh, if you're fishing a little bit deeper water, you can go to a 16th ounce jig, but we're fishing shallow right now. So that 32nd ounce jig is uh, perfect. That's a fish. Oh, you actually got a cast in there, huh? Finally. Oh, what, ooh, <laughs> now, that's... We, now we know, now we know guys what was biting Here's the seat. Here's the secret. Look at how big that pike is. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, Ryan, seriously, though, that's what we were wondering. Oh, we yeah. Your guys' tails off there. Yep. You know? Oh, yeah. It's got to be these little guys. What, is, what a know, little scoundrel. <laughs> we, we, we were talking before, though, you guys, why are these fish up here? You know, there must be a lot of young of the year and bait fish up here because every predator in the lake is is in this four feet it's of water insane. in these weeds. It's insane. Know? New species, too. Yeah. Here we go. All right. <laughs> you, you know, you don't have much time, buddy, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> What do you got a lot of walleye? Oh, hey, not bad, one. buddy. That's a good walleye. That's what about a 14 cute. inches. You know, in a lot of the lakes up here, you got to check the slots. Right. But on a lot of the lakes, Ryan, you know, you could keep that, and we're not keeping any fish. Right, today. yeah, yeah. But you got to read the signs on the lakes up here because there's slot sizes on some of them. I tell you what, we are keeping is memories. Aww. Oh, that's so. You know what I said earlier? The three best friends that yeah. anyone could have. No, Ryan, um, look at how we ate that grub. <laughs> Just where, where is your grub? I go, I'm gone. <laughs> they fight. Do what they did. You wonder how long this will last. We have yeah. not moved, you know. I know. And I'm only set, what, two feet? You know, um, yeah, in a couple of weeks we got uh, the grandkids coming up, Blake. Yep. And uh, this is what you target. And, you know, uh, one thing that's interesting and uh, is finding these fish and the walleye that Ryan caught, mm -hmm. um, these they were four feet of water. I know, it's crazy. I mean, they must just really like the weeds and this is the place to catch them off. Well, and I think there's a lot, must be a lot of bait fish up here. Yeah, that could be it too. I can't believe, Blake, how many crappies we've caught without moving. It's been a half hour and we've caught at, at least 20. And you want to talk about these fish being aggressive. You know, take a look at where that scrub is. I mean, they just annihilate that thing. I mean, it's way in there. And the thing is too, folks, when you're doing this type of fishing, you don't have to move the bobber much at all. I just give it a couple of twitches, let it sit, a couple of twitches and let it sit. And they just hammer it. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Man, I mean, that they really, really, you know, take that crappie scrub because when well, that bobber goes down, it goes down really far. Well, you know, when when I was a kid, that's when I started fishing, you yeah. know, in the lakes around the Milwaukee area, a bobber was the, was so much fun mm -hmm. to go down. And here it is, you know, 55, 60 years later, I'm still getting excited <laughs> when the bobber goes down. Folks, I don't know how many more we need to film of these. Zero. <laughs> Zero, Ryan says. Yeah, this is your day. You know, this is supposed to be your big day. Yeah, well, let's put a big asterisk on the screen because you guys keep catching them. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Ryan, it's a little pike a -roo. I'm familiar with those. Yeah. Now, what, I, what I'm thinking, buddy, is uh, you guys have some lunch here, and uh, let's start moving around. We caught enough crappies and see if we can get some bass and walleyes. What do you think? Sounds good. Yeah. We were fishing the lakes near Saner, Wisconsin, a four and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, five and a half hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. Eagle Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA. 
And they also make this new EC 2.5 bait casting combo. This combo is fast action, lightweight, and is built to stand up to long-term use. Amazing, nothing better. It flat out allows me to catch more fish. Power steering and spot lock have revolutionized what we're doing on the lake now. Faster response times when, when steering. A spot lock, man, it's second to none. Game changer. It's a game changer. Game changer. The first thing that we're gonna do today is attack panfish in the basin of the lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This is not too early to come out and catch walleyes, huh? It's never too early. This middle of May stuff for walleyes, it's cool. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. This is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world. And that bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractant. Check it out at baitmate.com. How did you think this boat handled big water on Lake Superior? Oh, it handled it amazing. I mean, we had two to three footers at times, and you just glided right over the top of them. You wouldn't even feel the bumps. It, you could have swore it was dead calm out there. What did you think about having that many people in the boat and the fishability? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, everybody can spread out. You can have a couple in the front, a few people in the back. Uh, nobody's worrying about hooking each other and uh, everybody has their own space and you got plenty of space for uh, your fishing equipment. What did you think of the flooring? I love the flooring. Um, it's easy to fish out, it's easy on your feet. We have fish slime a lot, especially when we're catching pike. It's easy to clean, that's what I love most about it. <laughs> well, we switch gears here and we have ourselves. Let me... Oh, nice walleye. Look at that. There you go. In the clamor there, Woo! Blake. Nice Look job, Dad. Look at that. That is awesome. You know, we caught all those crappies. Yeah. And Ryan suggested, and I'm proud of him, yes. that uh, we go and and drift over some more weeds and see if we can find some more walleyes. And boy, we sure did. And That's and that, a beautiful that, that, walleye. Isn't that a nice that. one, Ryan? Beautiful. That was on the jerk minnow, not the grub. You can't favorite. believe it. Can't believe it. No, that's a real pretty walleye right there. And we're not keeping any fish today. We'd sure have a fish fry if we did. We really would. <laughs> hey, Blake, seriously, yeah. that, that was on the other side of the bar awesome. where we caught all the crappies. Yeah. I don't know what this is, Ryan. Maybe it's what we came for. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's what we came for, largemouth bass. And it's only the second one of the day. Isn't that funny? Weird, right? Yeah. But this lake is, is known for largemouth bass, and, and here we caught all those crappies and walleyes. But look at the build on that fish, you know? Pretty, he's a little Toppy. fatty. Yeah. yeah. Here we hey. go. First cast on the new spot. Second, actually. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. you got yourself a nice little largey oh, there. Oh, he's a right? cutie. This, you know, we talked about it at the top of the program, how this is a multi-species lake, but you know, having all three rods ready, I'm throwing a wacko again. I see you switch colors there on the grub. Yeah, I was uh, trying something a little bit brighter just to see if that would affect any change because I hadn't been bit for a while. Again, you know, this is a shallow lake, so it kind of eliminates a lot of dead water. You know, all you got to do is really find the weeds. Yeah, absolutely. And the hummingbird certainly helps with that. Ooh, I got a jumper. Uh, oh yeah, you came out of the water. It's nice yeah. largey, nice largey. Keep them coming there, Blake. Keep them coming. Uh, and ooh. what are you going to do? Yeah, there you go. Flip, you got 12 pound test on there. There you go. And that's that Seaguar 12 pound liter material that yeah. you're using. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if it's any bigger than that, uh, don't flip them in. But, uh, you know, that's the interesting thing about the way those t uh, Savage rods are tapered. Mm -hmm. They showed us down in Florida when we were field testing them that you can, you can actually do a lot of flip ins without breaking the rod tip. Yeah, absolutely. Those Savage Gear rods, you don't have to worry about them breaking. Yeah. And with that Seaguar, Seaguar fluorocarbon liter material, you're fine to flip these kind of fish. Yeah. Up. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. When you buy an Abu Garcia Max DLC bait cast reel for a low fleet price of $104.99, you get a free $15 Fleet Farm gift card. Well, I grabbed my wacky uh, rod with the wacky worm on it, and we're fishing a bunch of lily pads here, and I got myself a bass. Okay, here he is. I'll just flip him in there. 
Look at that. That fish, Ryan, that fish was in one and a half feet of water right next to the lily pads. And that's the wacko. It's been, you know, obviously the grub has been good today, but I mean, we've caught fish on a lot of different baits, haven't we? Yeah. As long as it's the grub. Nah, the wacko works great in this shallow water with the weedless jig. Good bass. Oh, I think I got myself another bass. I grabbed my jerk minnow rod. And let's see, that is... Are you gonna need the net? It is, there we go, another nice large mouth of roux. And uh, you know, Ryan and Blake, we talked about it at the top of the program, having all the different rods ready. You know, I got the, like you saw before, yeah. I had the wacko worm rod, I got the crappie rod, I got the jerk minnow rod, and uh, it has really been a fun day. We got another hour, Ryan. All right. Can you catch another walleye for me? I will. I don't know what this is, but I thought I saw a crappie come out of the water. But. Well, this has been an interesting, interesting <laughs> yeah. day. It is, and that's you know, a decent crappie right there. <laughs> hey, want to mention one more thing, though, for the folks that are, are coming up uh, on vacation. Again, you know, we were lucky we caught some walleyes today, but the bass and the panfish are something to really target on family vacation. Yeah, absolutely. It's very easy to learn all the kids, you know, and it's fun, you know. <laughs> And folks, it's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. Skylar Trisbiatowski of Amherst Junction caught this 32-inch steelhead in Sheboygan on a sack. Toby Witkowski of Plover caught this beautiful 31-inch walleye on Green Bay. Jacqueline Albert of Berlin caught this 15-inch crappie on Beaver Dam Lake on a twister tail. Jeff Miller of Burlington caught this 36-inch lake trout on Lake Michigan on a fly. And this week's kids winners are Theodore Martinez of Addison, Illinois caught this 22-inch bass on Lake Wisconsin on a minnow. And Levi Torgensen of Moorhead, Minnesota caught this beautiful bass on Meadow Lake using a jig. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. The Rapala Rippin Wraps are on sale, two for $10. And save $20 on the Evolution Fishing Largemouth Backpack on sale for $79.99. So I noticed you're wearing blackfish just like me. Yes. What do you like about the blackfish gear? Well, I'm on the water. 200 yeah. days a year easy and i hate putting sunscreen on all the time me too <laughs> with the upf protection of the blackfish gear mm -hmm. i mean i i don't have to screw around with the the sunscreen or mm -hmm. anything like that i'm protected all the time mm -hmm. i don't have to worry about skin cancer or anything else that us fishing guides get it, and it probably keeps you cool all day long it does it, yeah. you know it's just a very nice cool feeling and guess what it's chemical free so as many times as you wash it you will still get protected for more information go to blackfishgear.com Kalen's Pendu Jig features a patented free swinging hook. This feature gives any soft plastic or live bait an added action no fish has ever seen. As you jig it, swim it, the free swinging hook moves up and down, giving your bait or lure an unpredictable action. This jig also makes your live bait or plastic stand up when you pause it, imitating a feeding bait fish on the bottom that entices more bites. The Pendu Jig comes alive. Kalen's Pendu Jig is available in four sizes and 12 colors. Blake just caught a crappie. Next cast, I've got a largemouth bass on because he jumped and I saw him. Look at that there. Ooh, that's a dandy, isn't Should it? Should I get Brian? the net? Well, let's see here. We'll just do the old Matty B flipping. Oh, that's the biggest one of the day. Ooh, that is a nice fish. And that that came, I said, where'd you catch that crappie, Blake? And I cast it right where she caught that crappie. And that's what happened. And that's on the jerk minnow. Well, we're going to have to get Beautiful largey, huh? Yeah, we're going to have to get a picture of that one. Yeah, beautiful fish. Here we go. What do you got? All right, Ryan. What's it going to be now? I don't know. I'm trying to get this pike off my Why? hook. Hey, what do you got? Oh, <laughs> nice. Whoa. Hey, Ryan, if you can, step back here, buddy. I caught this pike who just swallowed my jerk minnow. Yep, and, and I caught got... this walleye that swallowed the grub. And again, tell the folks. <laughs> I mean, this is just amazing, these fish. It's right in the same spot. <laughs> same spot, three, three and a half feet of water. Crappies, 
bass, northern, everything. Walleyes. That's a nice walleye. I think I'll switch to a five inch grub for muskies. Hey, we've had a good day. <laughs> we've had a wonderful day. Welcome to the Johnsonville Marketplace. Hi, Brittany, oh, how hi. are you? This is awesome. They got all the Johnsonville products. Ooh. Let's go take a look. Let's do it. We've got these specialty flavors that are only available for a limited time. And then of course we have all the sausage swag you could want. Come check out the new Johnsonville Marketplace just a few miles off of I-43 in Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. Your backyard deserves the best. For a limited time, buy Johnsonville Sausage or Bush's Baked Beans for a chance to win a Pit Boss Grill, professional cornhole boards, and sausage and beans for a year. Learn more at bestofthebackyard.com. <laughs> Whoa, bass a -rooty, bass a -rooty. And right after your walleye a -roo. Here we go, Ryan. There we go. It is amazing how many fish are on that spot. I mean, it was about 100 yards away from here where we caught all those crappies earlier today. And as you get towards later afternoon, man, those fish are really using that, that weed and that rock. It's time to save big. During the Yamaha Let's Ride sales event. With as low as 2.99 APR for 36 months on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. Plus, amazing customer cash offers. See your local Yamaha dealer for huge savings. Then, let's ride. John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. <laughs> Want to save even more at Fleet Farm? Well, now you can with Fleet Rewards. It's free to sign up and there's no credit card required. Using Fleet Rewards is easy. Earn points every time you shop. Plus, get exclusive member offers, birthday and anniversary perks, free tire rotations, and more. Download the Fleet Farm app or create an account at fleetfarm.com slash rewards to start earning points today. Fleet Farm, proudly serving the Midwest since 1955. Hey, good job today. We had a lot of fun, and I got to ask Ryan. Hey, Ryan, did you have a good time today? I think he did. We shot a whole show in six hours. Unbelievable, and I really love that we had multi-species all in the same spot. And folks, that is our show for this week. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet, but we will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm Ryan, the photographer, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.